This is a commander overview. In this episode, Artemisia. Artemisia is one of the most interesting kits I've seen in a while. She has an AoE on her first skill, health and defense, which is great for garrisons, a disarm, and a self-silence for a 50% damage boost, which is also offset by the other garrison commander who's often paired with Artemisia. So it makes her very high risk, high reward with a lot of chances for things to go really well or really poorly. Um, in this episode, we'll go over skills, talents, use cases, and who you can pair her with to make the most use out of her unique kit. Without further ado, let's get started. First, we're going to go over the skills. Artemisia's first skill is a standard fan AoE, but it does a slight amount of damage to yourself, which is interesting. Um, but the damage you deal in the fan is definitely worth the damage you take to yourself. Her second skill is a straight 20% defense and health, which is always great for garrisons, so I'm pretty happy with that. Her third skill is a straight 10% reduced normal attack damage, and a 10% chance to disarm the target, which then disables normal attacks, meaning the enemy is likely to not get as much rage and not do as much white damage to you. Finally, her fourth skill gives a 50% chance when she gets almost to full rage to self-silence for three seconds for a 50% damage increase. A 50% damage increase is nothing to sniff at. And when you consider that Amani and... Theo can both remove a silence. There's something to be said about the fact that the silence is a small price to pay for that 50% damage. Her expertise gives a 10% chance to deal an additional damage per second and give the opponent an extra 15% skill damage for 3 seconds. This is kind of a double-edged sword. You do a little bit extra damage, they do a little bit extra skill damage back to you. But it's great against anybody who does huge amounts of white damage like Attila while also being useful when you have all this extra skill damage you're throwing at them. They're going to melt so fast that even this extra 15% skill damage isn't going to do a lot of bonus for them. These are the talents I use for Artemisia in the case that I do use her as a primary defender. Most of the time she's secondary to Amani, but in the case I use her as a main, I usually use this. Um, I don't really go for the skill damage reduction. Although you could go there to offset the cost of, um, although you could go there to offset the cost of the 50% bonus from her expertise. I like to try to stack as much damage as I can on her. Increase an attack, uh, reducing skill damage taken there, but reducing a little bit of the skill damage dealt. It does help both ways with the self harm. Uh, the defense boost is nice, the extra rage when attacked is nice, the spiked armor is nice, but the big thing is the active skill damage of the primary and secondary commanders going up by 8% is a small price to pay. Um, alternatively, if you really wanted to, you could go into loose formation to get 9% skill damage reduction and 15% skill damage reduction from impregnable. The, the trade-off you get here is... This also, this tree also somewhat works in the field. So if you want to split between field and garrison, you can. Although you will not get any of the garrison specific. So it's kind of a, a halfway out, a halfway point between a garrison and a field build. That being said, I don't use this build very often. I typically use Amani as the main. Although I don't have any Artemisia primary reports in particular, you'll get similar results with Amani, Artemisia as you do Artemisia Amani. It's the same skills, just going off in a different order. Um, same things hold. Artemisia is a little bit better against Swarm than Amani is, but if you have the field and you have protection and you have support, she's going to do well. If you don't, she's going to struggle.
Lastly, we'll go over pairings. To nobody's surprise, Amani's the most common pairing. She's really good. She has a silence immunity, which pays right into Artie's skills. So she's very impressive in that regard. If you need to do like an impromptu mixed gears and you don't have Amani, YSS is a good option. I don't recommend doing this too often, but if you need something in a pinch and throw something together, that's something you can do. Um, if you have YSG and you don't have Amani yet, YSG is good too, because he provides that AoE support, which helps the anti-swarm aspect, and it gives him additional 50% skill damage. This is also a stupid underrated field skill. If you can get those two together and keep them protected, it is invaluable to you as a player. Because that is 50% damage bonus and a 50% skill damage. So when you do finally get your skill off after the silence has removed itself, it hits like a truck. And with that, we conclude our summary of Artemisia. I hope this helped shed some light on this commander. If you liked it, give it a like. It helps let me know that you guys are enjoying these videos. And if you want to see more, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a Rise of Kingdoms video. Feel free to share this with anybody else who you think needs this information. And as always, good luck, fight well, and I will see you on the battlefield.